That's enough! I am not going to dance! I don't have a partner! Who says you don't have one? Nora tapped on Cheryl's shoulder, and the moment Cheryl turned to look at Nora tying her long hair into a high ponytail and wearing thick soled shoes. You? That's right. I will dance with you. Are you kidding, Cheryl? If you need a partner, I can find one for you. But having your cousin dance with you? She's never danced like this before, right? Nora and Cheryl faced the judgmental comments, yet they stepped onto the dance floor. Watch and learn. A tango needs power, and she won't stand a chance against me. Suddenly, the music began. Rachel and Caden also took their positions, expecting to steal the spotlight. Let's show them how it's done. The tango started. Rachel and Caden started moving with practiced precision. The crowd applauded, but Rachel noticed an unexpected shift. Why aren't they watching us? Rachel glanced at Nora and Cheryl, realizing the audience's attention had shifted towards them. Wow, Nora! You have got the moves. Let's show them what we are made of. As the dance progressed, Nora surprised Cheryl with her confident and fitting posture. The music intensified, and their dance enchanted everyone in the room. Amidst the applause, a livid Rachel glared at Caden. He was staring at Cheryl, and she couldn't help but snap. What are you looking at? Even if she dances well, can she help you meet Tanya Turner? At a distance, a flurry of activity at the door caught everyone's attention. Rachel turned and was taken aback to look at a group swarming around Tanya Turner. Holy sh- I am going to say hello to Miss Turner. The people around Tanya are all rich and famous. What are you going there for? Just wait. Tanya will come to my house for classes. You'll see her then. Rachel left rudely, leaving Caden stinging from the disrespect. Caden clenched. Meanwhile, Cheryl joined Nora in the resting area. You are amazing at dancing, Nora. Suddenly, Cheryl heard a crowd calling Tanya's name, and she turned towards Nora. Tanya's the center of attention wherever she goes. She will be held up for a while. I will introduce you two later. Okay. Come with me, Cheryl. Is there any issue? <sighs> don't be mad anymore, Cheryl. We don't have anything to do with each other anymore, so why would I still be mad at you? Stop it, Cheryl. There's nothing between Rachel and me. We are just working with each other. Whatever your relationship with her is, it has nothing to do with me. The only reason I danced with Rachel was to get a class or two with Tanya. I know Rachel has a bad temper and is always saying things to shame and embarrass you. But just for me, can't you put up with it a little? Caden, you have misunderstood something about me. What? My mother didn't raise me to submit to being bullied and suffering for you. You really do look down on me, don't you? You think you are a rich young lady while I am just some... Poor schmuck who gets to follow you around, don't you? Cheryl was shocked, realizing Caden's perception of her. She decided it's not worth explaining. Please stay away from me. Do you really think you are some rich princess? Wake up, Cheryl. The Andersons are on their way down. What? Your family is about to fall out of the ranks of the rich soon. They can't even talk to Tanya Turner, let alone ask her to hold classes. While they argued, Rachel pushed through the crowd to get closer to Tanya. Tanya, do you still remember me? The Woods have made an appointment with you for a dance class. The Woods? Uh, oh, Rachel Wood, right? Tanya recalled the connection between the Woods and the Andersons. Sorry, everyone. I'm here today to look for a close friend. Let's do the autographs again another day. Tanya walked away, and Rachel couldn't help but wonder about Tanya's search for her close friend. Suddenly, her eyes caught Cheryl talking to Caden. What's Caden doing over there? Rachel approached them as she decided to confront them, but instead she heard Caden yelling at Cheryl. Learn to ignore them, Caden. I will introduce you to Miss Turner when we meet her again later. Despite Cheryl's rejection, Caden nodded eagerly, finding it all worth it. Do you want an introduction too? Well, why not? After all, we are family. Well, why yes, after all, I am not interested. Cheryl, how can you refuse such a good opportunity? Because she doesn't need it. Now you can leave us alone. Nora, I missed you so much. A surprised Rachel witnessed Tanya greeting Nora. Nora gently steers Tanya towards Cheryl. Hug her instead. She is my cousin and she is dying to meet you. Tanya gave Cheryl an enthusiastic hug. The crowd watched in utter silence as the situation unfolded unexpectedly. Cheryl, how do you know Ms. Turner? Cheryl remained silent, leaving Rachel frustrated. Well, Nora is my best friend. We're two peas in a pod, so close that we are pretty much inseparable. You are a relative of Cheryl here, right? To be honest, I wasn't going to do the private class at first. I only agreed because you guys are related. How about this? I'm planning to stay at the Andersons. If you want classes, why don't you just come over to their house? That seems easier. Rachel couldn't utter a single word out of shame in front of her sidekicks. 
Turning to Cheryl, Tanya offers a friendly suggestion. Do you like to dance? I can give you some pointers if you'd like. It doesn't have to be formal. You could bring a couple of friends along as well if you'd like. We'll just have fun. Cheryl, dumbfounded, stumbled over her words. Oh, that's okay. I don't need... Oh, no, but that will make me look very useless. And Nora probably won't like me anymore. Who said you could stay at the Andersons? Tanya quickly seized Cheryl's arm. Little cousin, Nora has a very weird temper and doesn't allow anyone to share her bed. Can I sleep with you tonight? Um, sure. Are you guys still gonna dance? If not, can we go? I've been traveling all day. I'm so, so tired. Tanya started dragging Nora. Tanya then grabbed Cheryl's arm and left. Rachel was looking at her worst nightmare. Too embarrassed to stay, she made a hasty exit. Tanya and Cheryl walked ahead while Nora trailed lazily. Suddenly, Nora was grabbed and her instinct kicked in. What are you? Her fist was caught and a familiar voice cut through the tension. It's me. What are you trying to do, Mr. Hunt? Justin playfully trapped her against the car. I'm afraid you can't afford to buy my son with just $800 million. What are you talking about, Mr. Hunt? You made a ridiculous offer a few nights ago. Buying my son, remember? <sighs> Is that so? How much are you willing to sell him for then? Name your price. Have you ever considered a way that won't require a single cent from you? Kidnapping? That doesn't seem like a very good idea. Justin, blinking in disbelief, was about to respond when Tanya's voice interrupted. Huh? Where's Nora? Where did she go? Nora, flustered, pushed Justin away into the shadows. I'm over here. Oh, what are you doing? What are you hiding? Don't tell me you've got a man hidden around here somewhere. Nora, blushing, gave her a light push. Are we going or not? You don't need some man in a parking garage. I will give you all the love you need, my dear. Your love is too cheap. I don't want it. Justin secretly watched Nora sit inside the car. He emerged with a cold expression. Interesting. After loading her luggage into the car, Tanya then returned to the front of the car and looked at Nora relaxing in the back seat. Nora, are you kidding? I've been stuck on a plane all day. Are you really going to make me drive? I want to sleep. Justin realized he spent 10 minutes watching Nora with a mix of frustration and fascination. Nora reclined, attempting to relax, but feeling an unusual guilt. Why am I feeling guilty? Suddenly, her phone beeped, and she checked a text from Justin. The moment she read the text, she was caught off guard. What was written in the text? Will Rachel's jealousy and humiliation push her to plot against Cheryl and Nora? How will Cheryl handle the newfound attention and connections, especially with Tanya Turner involved? To find out what happens next, don't let your excitement die! The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.